Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator. One more bonus episode for 5 star dish, and that's while we're preparing all these advanced dishes, we've got an order for the corn chowder. And we'll see how things go. The corn chowder has been prepared long ago and waiting, but this segment of the video comes first, so I'll edit the preparation phase into the video after this. But you'll see them in order from preparation to serving, and you can gauge how long it takes to serve if you're going to prepare it during the part of the order. I don't think you should prepare that while it's ordered because there is not enough time to do that, so prepare it in advance. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll see you back here in the prep phase. Fifteen gram sticks. So this, this, this. This is fourteen. This is literally twenty-two, while this is eleven. Now, how do I accept something like that? I really don't know. Oh. No. 14 grams. And I need to cut these a little bit more. This one and this one. I wonder if it even works. Nine. Throw away. Six. Throw away. Seventeen? Okay. Yeah, how do we get fifteen? Seriously? Like, that tiny little piece is... That heavy? Seriously? <laughs> is that heavy? Seriously? I'm just gonna prepare one set of that. It's about to open, yeah? It's about to open, the shop is about to open, or the, the restaurant is about to open, so... I need time to prepare... To... Get ready... And, uh, 30... 14... 12... Good! Cut this in the middle... Please give me 15... Or cut it slightly further... Nice! I would accept all of that. So this uh, this plate twenty five grams of potato, um, two hundred and fifty will be 10 and then 12 so 6 cuts each 6 cuts each each potato 6 cuts wow really so it's gonna be this middle cut plus uh, a lot more over there and middling over here which will give me <laughs> a monstrosity of cuts twenty five right Now what? 23, good. Just have a very big pot, make sure I do it properly once and that's it. Okay, and this one includes buying the potatoes. 
we need a lot of 25 grams also like do it once and then i can stay uh like prepared for a long time onion and carrot 150 grams or 140 grams of onion uh, 140 grams of carrot and then one onion oh actually no since i'm here might as well since i'm already here i know i've got some in the pot but yeah since i'm already here why not hey stop spinning <laughs> is it still spinning though let's do an x cut on that or actually, never mind. You know what? Um, wait, hang on. That's not good. I have to do an X cut, unfortunately. Wrong, uh, wrong cutting technique. Okay. Yeah, obviously, uh, a lot of mistakes everywhere. Seventeen. Okay. Nineteen. Okay, because it's 20, right? 32. Not okay. This one, 10. Definitely throw away. This is only for one dish, you know? This is only for one. It's only going to serve one plate of corn chowder or whatever that corn soup thingy is. 23 goes in there 10 no way 32 apparently the cut didn't register and like trying to pinpoint my knife and that's a bit of a problem 25 awesome oh wait no 25 is not awesome 25 is not acceptable it's supposed to be 20 now that I don't need 25, it gives me 25. 18 is okay. 19. What was that? 23. 23? Okay, fine. I'll accept that. The rest? No. I need 120 grams of onion. I wonder how much I have already. No. Please do not topple the plate. 77. Nowhere near. Now I'm going to choose a different way to cut this now. Like literally gonna do that. So I'm gonna do it this way. Do a cut down the middle. And then do uh, proportionate cuts like that. Based on... Uh, based on vision. Oh, no. 21 is okay. So that's 90 plus. 17 is okay. So that's... Uh, 115, I need 120 grams. Okay, uh, accepted. You know what? I'm going to say that these are going to be like 20 or something. So we're just gonna try and cut it. Like basically, uh, like this, and uh, like this, and uh, like this, and like this, and like this, and we'll pick up all the right cuts. That's all. 8, no. 35, no. 64, Absolutely no. 10, no. 30, no. Only one made the cut. <laughs> Only one made the cut. No, two. 20, right? Uh, I'm not even able to pick up the knife properly. Let's see. Oh, no. 34, seriously? 28, no, not nowhere near. So how many made the cut? 10, none, 25, no. Too far out, the cuts don't even register too close, and this is what happens. Yeah, this is what happens. So, um, all of them failed the cut over here. Let's get these done first. 
Oh, seafood contest. Really? Oh my goodness. Seafood contest? Seriously? 34. Yeah, that's what happens, yeah? All of them not acceptable. 10, 12, 13. It's meant to be 20, so no, no point being hasty and just chopping everything up, nope. I wanted to just like, you know, chop everything up and uh, hopefully get it working, but apparently it doesn't work. Nope. Some more. 16. Guess what? I'm going to accept one of these 16s because like seriously, yeah. Bad cuts, but eventually they all make sense after all, right? At the end of the day. I want to accept at least a few. Don't waste all efforts here. Because that will be the worst waste of time. Right, I'm gonna throw the rest away and be more careful in future cuts. Being hasty? Nope. Right, I need more onions. Um, let's go take some more onions. This needs to be cooked. I think that's okay. It's perfect. Don't stand too close and get it uh, all swiped off the plate. Nope, it's not from my plate. That's okay. Keep that inside. So now we have a few prepared over there. Little bowl that uh, keeps all of these uh, like leftovers and whatnot. Literally just uh, keep them. And we'll pick up those that we can use next time. Like, where do I keep these? The non-good ones. Uh, the non-good ones, where do I keep them? Somewhere that's not as uh, prominent. Maybe here. And so we're left with 5 minutes to prepare the corn chowder after cleaning up what I was preparing for the upgraded bruschetta in future. I'm left with 5 minutes, let's see if we can still get the corn chowder. Fortunately, tomorrow, if anything happens at the end of this career day, we're just gonna get one more dish. Thankfully, we're not gonna unlock a few, but still, that's painful. Okay, we'll cut potato into 25 grams and onion into 20 grams. Potato into 25, onions into 20. We've got quite a bit of uh, potatoes and everything here, so let's uh, see if anything fits the bill already. We'll take our pick of the best we can get, okay, from the mixture of these two sets. And then if it's not enough, we're gonna cut some more, shall we? So we're gonna pour everything here first. And uh, let's pick... 25 grams, so 23 would be fine. 21, no. 27 is okay. 24 is okay. 26 is okay. We need 300 grams of these. 24 is okay. 24 is okay. 21 is not. 15 is absolutely not. 27 is okay. 24 is okay. 25 is of course perfect. 23, 24. So how many do we have now? 292. And what is that? 21. Of course, uh, things like that have to happen. 23, 22, 23, 24. So we're going to put in a 24 and take out a 23. Come on. Twenty-three, yes. 
So we have a few 24s, we have a few 27s. And uh, it's 272. Wait, what? Why is it not there? Isn't it supposed to be in there? 295. So we'll take out another 24, I guess, and put in a 27. So that will be three more, I hope. Giving us a better 298. I really hope that's enough. Right. So next we need uh, 15 gram pieces of uh, carrots. So we have 14. We need 140 grams. 13 is okay. That's 27. 42. 55. 70. Uh, 87. 97, 101. 118 118 one, three, three. We need 140 so Maybe I can take out let's see let's see what we have remaining we have a 14 So we have 147 and let's take out a few 17s And a 13. So 1, 3, 4 then. No. We'll take out another 17. And let's see if we can put in something smaller. Oh, come on. Let me do that. 13, please. 13, please. Yep, 139. Awesome. So, uh, that's done. So, we need 20 grams onions. So, 19. Let's uh, double check. Let's go double check. We still have got one minute. Good. I don't think we'll be in a rush to prepare any other thing. And if there's a corn chowder, we'll just uh, prepare something on the spot. Okay, 140. So, 20 gram onions. 20 gram onions. And these are okay. 20 gram onions. 20 gram onions. We have a 19 there. A 21 would be awesome. So that is uh, 40 now. 61. Okay. Uh, 79. 17 is a bit too low. 89.97. We've got a lot of 18s here. 23 is a bit high, but we'll see. Okay, we'll take a 23, unfortunately. So that gives us 120. Okay, good. This is like the perfect um, corn chowder prep. So I'm going to keep the corn chowder prep here. The rest of the corn chowder prep. This is the potato, isn't it? Uh, Yeah. The rest of the corn chowder prep will go there. Yeah, unfortunately I needed the 23 because the rest are all really sad cuts. Right, we've got the gazpacho. Oh, and the dish of the day is uh, the pork thingy and the baked potato. So, yeah. I hope we don't get too many of these orders with us. We need to prepare some of the corns as well, but it's okay. We'll do that later. Oh, looks like, um, yeah. Right, so I'll go ahead and do the other dishes. And uh, I'll uh, meet you back here when we need to, when we are preparing more for the corn, like the broth and something. Be right back. 
Right, we've got a few minutes to prepare the corn. So we'll prepare the corn and then prepare the broth. Something seems wrong with the broth if you prepare them overnight though, which is something that I'm really concerned about, but uh, we'll see what happens. Also, um, the bug is still there, so if you have any pan that has got sauces in it, make sure to empty them and leave them like this overnight. So you know that they are ready for use the next time round. The trick with cutting corn cobs is really interesting. I want to show that to you. Um, it's kind of messy here. Should I do it here? I think, okay, fine. We'll do it here. No problem with that. Let's uh, move that away for now. Okay, we'll just temporarily keep them there. Right, so with the corn cob, what we want to do is to stand right in front and then try to aim it like this and put every corn cob down like that. We need 30 grams of the cuts, like 30 gram cuts. So try to align them as properly as possible. Don't move your position while aligning them. Just don't, don't use your WASD to align them. Just move your mouse like that. Right. Now, um, 30 grams, right? So 180 divided by 30 is 6 cuts. So we want this whole thing to cut around here because even the size won't matter. We will still get the right cuts necessary. So just move it down a bit. Actually, never mind. Uh, 5 cuts in total. So 1 cut, 2 cuts, 3 cuts. 4 cuts and 5 cuts. So apparently the the knife is a bit slanted but we'll still get the a lot of 30s and 29s. So you can see that we've got quite a lot of 30s and 29s and we are just spending a little bit of time to do these cuts. Uh, 30, one of them. Th uh, 29 is okay. 30. 28 is fine but we'll go for 30 first. We need six of them, right? We've got five already. Can you see that? So instead of like struggling with just, uh, yeah, see, 30. We've got so many 30s that we actually can have a full plate worth of 30s. Look, 180 grams. Full plate worth of 30. We have no need for any 29s. Finally, the corn chowder or the chorn chowder. <laughs> corn chowder. Let's go. Hey! Oh. Ah! That's always a problem. What? What? We have got 25 grams less of potato, and let's go get one of them from here. Uh, let's go get any 23. Yep, I see a 24. Retreat. Put it here. And uh, we need 15 ml of uh, clarified butter. So let's uh, take this one and um, pour them over, like drizzle in 15 ml, 13 so far, two more, right, okay, and then pour everything over. Instead of pouring it first and drizzling it over there, we're going to do it this way. Yep. Hold shift key, nudge it around, make sure everything gets in contact with the pan. So, we need to fry for 30 seconds. But before we fry, 700 ml of chicken broth. From where? Not here. <gasps> no! Nope, nope. How did I click on that, please? For goodness sake, how? 
got none, no problem. Make one ourselves. Got an empty pot here. Other things ready to serve. 700 ml. Okay. 701. 02. Okay, that's it. 700 ml. Time 18. Salt, black pepper, 12, 12. This is time. Not sugar, please. <laughs> that done next we need to add potato carrot and onion and then boil for 20 seconds cut the cob into chunks of 30 gram add to the pot so um this is what we're looking for bring it over to here and probably have it topple, maybe not, good. So um, I think we need to pour everything or just the potato, onion and carrot without the, without the um, clarified butter. Well, whichever. Let's start with the clarified butter and we're going for 30 seconds. Right, I'll see you back here in a while going to serve something. We're back. Switch that off. Now, we need to put all of these in to the pot. And we need to make sure that they get in touch with the broth. Otherwise, it wouldn't be working. Oh, you see that? How? How? Well, glad it's captured on the screen. Uh... Fine. Okay, all the weight is still okay. Let's uh, shake it around, make sure everything goes inside. Before we switch the fire on, we're gonna serve something. See you back here. Right, I'm undecided between a small pot and a big pot, so that's why I'm saving again. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna switch it to a small pot. Um, 20 seconds. Then, corn of cob. So let's cook it. It looks so weird, isn't it? Look at that, it looks really weird. Look at the color. It looks so weird. Twenty seconds, is that even enough? Add 
add to the pot, sour cream, add to the pot. Sour cream, we need 100 ml, so that's a 50 ml ladle. One time. Two times. Now that looks much better, but um, still quite a problem there. Be back here for now because the corn cobs are not in touch with the broth. It's not in touch with the broth. Okay, it is now. 100 seconds. Let's uh, go. Look at the color again. What? Okay, the corn cob is definitely not cooking well. While the others are being cooked too quickly. Almost to the point of being burnt already. But it's okay, I guess. We'll put that back while we wait. And we need to serve 250 ml of that. So it's actually... No, not this one. Let's just do that five times instead of mixing these up. Serve hot. Okay. Now I'm really hoping that everything works. The potatoes are gonna be so overcooked. But we're just gonna wait until the cob of corn, they're all cooked properly. Eventually these things, they do catch up, don't they? I'm just gonna wait here. 20 seconds should be plenty. Yep. Yep, it's catching up with the soup. Catching up, overtaking, I think, it looks like it's overtaking, so let's uh, wait, uh oh, we need time, okay, so, uh, one, two, three, Four and five. Time not enough. Let's reset this time, definitely. So now we need um sixty grams of corn and seventy five grams of uh, potato. Oh, come on, give me one better one, please. Fine. I think that's okay. Take a picture. Looks okay. Looks okay. Yay! Yay! Five star corn chowder! Wee! Yippee! Yahoo! Yay! Yippee! Yahoo! Yay! Yippee! Yahoo! Yay! Whoa, I didn't expect that. That's like my first try after failing a lot of times in the previous um, attempts during the actual career mode. But yippee yahoo yay! <laughs> five star dish. Another five star dish. So we have got the base corn chowder dish five starred. The next time round, it'll be the advanced dish. 
that we are supposed to prepare for. But yeah, what other complaints? Let's take a look. Nothing. Perfect. Just utterly perfect. So I guess I have no need to use the small part. Just get the cuts all ready. Just make sure that the things are all in contact with the broth. And uh, that's it. That's it. So kind of interesting actually. Yeah. I'm happy with this. I'm just gonna prepare another set of um, ingredients for the advanced corn chowder because um, it's uh, it's kind of weird reusing this and then I'll be reusing the footage for this as well. So yeah, for the advanced corn chowder, whichever that may be, I'll just uh, record myself preparing the ingredients again as it should have been. I think I do have something prepared already but that's whether I can find the footage or not. But otherwise, that's it. That's all I have for this episode of 5 Star Dish. 5 Star of the Corn Chowder. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.